Well, how do you do, Buckaroos? I'm going to do something in this video that I say I don't do. <laughs> I say I don't do shots because the only purpose of doing shots uh, is to get drunk faster. Uh, well, what I t sometimes I say no. What I typically try to say is I rarely do shots. And what I also say I never chug beers because I can't chug anymore, which is true. So I'm going to try something that I'm not likely to accomplish just because I am susceptible to my own ideas. <laughs> So I found this bottle of Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire uh, <laughs> Tennessee Fire uh, cinnamon liqueur, 70 proof. So I have just probably about an ounce in there. It's right there. Let's see. Right at that line, it says it's an ounce and a half, and I'm shy of that. So I probably got about a shot even in there, most likely. I got a little bit less than a beer there. probably got... I'm guessing about eight ounces now. <laughs> That's spitballing, man. So I'm going to try to do a spicy boiler maker. So here I got this beer that I have is called Pepper in the Rye from Show Me Brewing. Right here in Little Low Springfield Mo. This is really, I just love this joint because, I mean, it's it's whatever smaller than a national brewery. They're doing bad batches. Uh, five to ten gallons at a time, and yet they they manage. They have twelve. They have twelve taps. They they typically have anywhere between ten and twelve going all the time. Sometimes they. I mean, it's one of those things. Sometimes there's such a run they go through. So you know they they just get hit hard and they have a hard time catching. Then they'll catch back up, and same thing happens. But they're doing great beer. Anyways, pepper in the rye. It's a rye ale, so you got a little bit of rye spice that that uses. Garden jalapenos. Now, I was told that the jalapenos were frozen first, but they are fresh garden jalapenos. So. Anyways, the aroma on this thing is crazy good. I did a, a video just for this beer, but I thought, well, let me, I want to combine the cinnamon. Got to do, got to do a pepper boiler maker. Gotta, like, I don't know why. It just is one of those things that just, some, just had the idea. What if you did this, Tom? And like I said, I, I know it's a bad idea. But I'm susceptible to my own ideas. I, I can't try that I don't do shots, but yeah, I'm going to try to do something of the sort. Make sure I got enough room to drop this in. Uh, I expect to fail miserably, to be honest with you. I, I've, I've, got, I've had acid reflux since I was, I don't know, probably 22 years old. And I've got so much scarring from acid reflux that it's the main reason I can't chug anymore. But anyways, we're going to give her a shot, shall we? Look at that crazy old man, man. Anyways, here we go. <coughs> it was real good. Right up until... Right up until that last drink, I almost gagged, man. But hey, I got through it, man. I'm impressed with myself. Most of you are probably thinking, man, what a moron. <laughs> but I did it, man. <laughs> I'm willing to do things others aren't, man. I'm like the stunt man of guys that do beer reviews. <laughs> yeah, you all want to go out there and call yourself a beer reviewer while you're drinking one ounce of beer. Or a whiskey reviewer while you're drinking a couple of sips of whiskey. Hey, I'm doing her, man. I am out there on the front. <laughs> ah, shit, a break. Holy cow, that wasn't bad. So. Let me tell you what I tasted. I dropped that sucker in there. It kind of mixed up. It was a mix of cinnamon and jalapeno. It was freaking gorgeous, man. Wow. Uh, wow. I mean, that's not something that I would typically do. I can't believe how easy that was to drink. <laughs> wow, dude, that was gorgeous, man. Yeah, the cinnamon mix, I mean, oddly enough, uh, mixed uh, beautiful with those peppers. It was just amazing. Wow. Mm. So I'm, I'm lingering on my palate right now is a mix of jalapeno and cinnamon. Ah, there you go. Hey, I'm Bender Beer Whisperer. I'm a moron, so you don't have to be.